What makes him different is he'll never just be a number. Score bare goals last year, got charged up and crashed it. Now they playing up front, coming like Marcus Rashford. My oldest, my oldest is wash. All they ever showed me was hand things. And dirt and dirty nails, no business, no banking. More time I'm one up over cake, and most of my friends on the landing. But they just, just whack my man from behind, come like your dad though he's blanking. Man, 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 I put drugs in cling, come like it's going out of fashion. Man, still fling corn in the clip, come like it's going out of passion. Money up for mech or tech, man, man, don't starve or ration. Got my young bull doing up front, coming like Marcus Rashford. Look, they don't want arms. So, talk me through that. This is something that I wrote in... I think it, that's just when I moved school. And, and just read it out if you can, because those are great words. Um, it says, I hope that my future is very bright in and out of school, especially in my career as a footballer. I want to have a different lifestyle and make my family and others proud of me. I only have one aim in life, and that is to be a professional footballer, and hopefully at Manchester United. What do you make of the young man who wrote that? It's the same person. <laughs> I know, but he's achieved a lot. The fact that you wrote that then obviously suggests what do you think about your character? Well, I've always knew what I wanted, and it's just about like getting it's the difficult thing, and there's a lot of ups and downs on the way. But whether it's been an up or a down, I've always been like honest with myself and clear to myself that that's where I wanted to be and where I wanted to get to. Because, okay, the, everything happened with United, but then, you know, you hear people talking about England, but you don't take much notice of it. And then when it actually happens, it's an amazing feeling. And this summer, Manchester United and England star Marcus Rashford played a pivotal part. Marcus Rashford's mum, Mel, has spoken out for the first time about the work her son has been doing throughout the pandemic to help hungry children. She's been talking to Sally. England and Manchester United footballer Marcus Rashford has been speaking about his own experiences of poverty and being short of food as a child as part of his campaign for the government to provide free school meals out. <laughs> Marcus, it's great to have you here. We want to talk about child poverty because you've been such a trailblazer for this this year to your great credit in holding mm. uh, the government to account over uh, meals through the summer for uh, underprivileged kids. You now want to expand this. Tell us what you're doing. Um, basically, we're just building, like, we call it a task force, um, just a number of, of, of large brands coming together that all have the same the same aspirations and, and, and goals. So, um, yeah, that's like the next step in, in what we're trying to trying to do. So, um, yeah, we're, we're taking it one step at a time and just trying to... <laughs> OK. Yeah. OK. Yeah. OK. How has it affected you guys? I was... I was really ill in March. Yeah, it was a yeah. flu virus, but it was so intense that I couldn't actually move from the yeah. bed. They actually come in and deliver food to my yeah. home for this community to actually provide it for me. Yeah. That has been really yeah, beneficial. Damari, how do you feel about you know seeing your, your mum struggle and, and things like that? It's very upsetting seeing my mum like, um, upset sometimes and thinking how she's gonna give us this meal today or like how can I help? Yeah. So I tried doing stuff like help the community, like um, I can clean your windows for three pounds or something yeah, like that, yeah. give it to my mum or do something like put on my oyster so I can get onto the train yeah. to go to school. Did you, do you do that off your own back? Yeah. For me, it's, it's refreshing to hear you say things like that and 
like never never feel like anyone's looking down on you for for doing things like that because they don't know what it feels like to to have to survive like because when you have to survive you do things like, like you do whatever you have to do everyone's parents were in different situations and you know if you're a, if you're a single mother like like you are and like my mum was sometimes she'd work late it's, I, I literally used to eat cereal all day long. In an emotional That's letter, he describes how his mother, a single parent, struggled to feed her five children while earning the minimum wage. You know, my mum, she'd done the best she could. I remember we used to go to a shop called um, Pound World and everything was under a pound. And, you know, we sort of schedule out the week. So we'd get seven yogurts and you can have one yogurt a day. And this is all going on at a time where kids should be concentrating on schoolwork. And it's just crazy to think that this, this is still going on at this you know, we're in 2020 now and it's just something that I don't believe should be should be happening. Marcus Rashford grew up in Withenshaw on what was once thought to be the largest council estate in Europe. When you come from a place of struggle and pain, a lot of the time it switches and it becomes your drive and motivation. This appetite to succeed surfaced itself when Marcus started showing early signs of promise as a football talent of the future. Together. 